Hey there folks, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about our inline transmission filter that we installed on our 2017 Chevy Equinox. It's got the 2.4 liter Ecotec engine in it. Now, I installed one of these filters about one or two years ago, can't really remember, but it's been about 43,000 kilometers, so it's overdue. So we're going to take the old one out and put this one in, but we're not going to show that process. This process is more to address people's comments and questions about what's inside and what it looks like after it's been used for a lengthy period of time but i will show you if you look down you see the battery on our ecotech is right there so if you look right down there there's that hose going across that is the cooler line that is the filter just under it we'll get you a closer up look here so if you're looking facing the engine with the hood open that's what you see so it's on the right hand side uh hose there and you can see that the arrow is towards the right for direction of flow if you're wondering how to install that so i just have a couple of gear clamps around it i cut out just about two inches of the hose to make accommodation room for that filter so it's hard to get the camera in there so off camera i'm going to take the old one out we're going to put it in our vise in the basement cut it to pieces and see what's all inside and all the gunk all right, so we did get the filter off. As I said, I did it off camera. It was an absolute pain getting the hose off. It's quite formed around these barbs. You can see they got a nice aggressive barb. I will put a link in the description for this. I do like this filter and it actually doesn't look too bad. It's been driven through a couple winters and for 43,000 kilometers, almost looks like new. So we're gonna cut this open. I'm just going to use my corded uh, angle grinder here with a cutoff wheel. So let's just get to it, hearing and eye protection, and then we'll see what's up. So if we look, there's a weld. We just have to cut below that just so we know that we're getting it off. All right, I should have mentioned before, just don't worry, this isn't blood from my finger. That's just all the transmission fluid, obviously. This is just a standard magnetic bowl. And I like the magnetic bowl because you can see it's actually catching some of the filings. So unfortunately, I don't like the fact that you have to get a grinder in. I hope that we don't get any shavings into the filter, but there was no choice because it is quite a thick filter. All right, so again, hopefully I didn't get any metal fragments in to get them confused with the shavings around here, but you can see how thick this uh, can is. So we're gonna pull it apart. When we look at it, we got a spring and we got a magnet at the bottom. That is the empty can. We're just gonna set that aside. Obviously be careful of any fluid. So it does look like there's some debris on it, you can see. So that looks like it's not shavings. That's, it may be old shavings. That's magnetic, and you can see right here, a lot of debris on there. So that magnet catches that quite well. So you can see all the stuff that wants to come off. So it's kind of like a pasty, metal fragments so it's nothing that's going to harm it but it's better to filter it through and i believe this magnet comes off if i'm not mistaken actually you know what no it looks like it's glued on there so if you can uh this feels like quite a strong magnet if you could get this off get the glue off it'd actually be a nice magnet to have in your shop so that's all there is to it um i'm going to cut this filter media open and see what's in the pleats there is a pressure relief valve right here try and get you focused on the camera if you see that is a pressure activated relief valve if there is enough of a clog to warrant a drop in pressure from this uh, media getting clogged that would bypass and it would open this there's a spring in there the pressure would push that open and it would flow just the regular fluid through one barb and directly the other and hence bypassing the filter. So that sets that straight. Now let's just cut this media open and see what's up. All 
All right, so I got a little cross section here. Now, if you look, it doesn't look too dirty. Again, all the metal fragments would be in your magnet. There's some discoloration on the higher end of the pleats there. So that's not too bad. And that's what the core looks like. So this is a nice sturdy piece here. Just gonna cut it the rest of the way. Same for that side, fairly clean. Not too discolored for 43,000 kilometers. So that's a closer look, very well constructed. Nice tight pleats if you look at them from the cross section. Just wanted to show you what's inside the magnet, the filter, and kind of what it looks like and what's happening after that mileage. So I'd say it depends on the condition of your fluid. I did put this on the vehicle just after I did a quick dump of about four quarts, I believe. And I didn't do a flush, just a regular dump and fill. So keep that in mind. 40, maybe even 50,000 might be good to swap one of these out. That's all there is to it. Hopefully you found it helpful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.